Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on thermal stresses. Let us read the question one time. A composite bar made of aluminium and steel is held between two supports as shown in the figure. The bars are stress free at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. What will be the stress in two bars? When the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, the first condition is that the supports are non yielding. The second condition is that the supports come nearer to each other by 0.1 millimeter. The change of temperature is uniform along the length of the bar. The Young's modulus for steel and aluminium are given. The coefficients of linear thermal expansion for steel and aluminium are given. Now let us make a given data. Alpha S and Alpha A are given. Delta T is equal to 40 minus 20. We will get 20. Length of aluminium is 300 millimeter. Length of steel is 600 millimeter. The cross section of aluminium is circle. The cross section of steel is also circle. The diameters are given. The formula for the area is pi d square upon 4. Using that formula, we can calculate the area of aluminium and steel. The Young's modulus are given in giga newton per meter square. We can convert them into kilo newton per millimeter square. Now we are going to find the stresses if the ends do not yield. The total change in length delta L will be equal to the summation of change in length in aluminium and steel. We know that the formula to find the change in length due to temperature change is alpha into delta t into l so for delta l a it is alpha a into delta t into l a for delta l s it is alpha s into delta t into l s we can take delta t outside then let us apply the values of alpha s alpha a delta t l a and l s after the calculation we are getting delta l which is equal to 0 0.2808 millimeter. We know that the stress sigma is equal to load P upon area A. So the load P is equal to sigma into A. The load P will be same in both of the materials. So we can write sigma A A A is equal to sigma s a s then we can take a a on the right side it will come in the denominator let us apply the values of areas finally we are getting sigma a is equal to 4 sigma s we know that delta l is equal to delta l a plus delta l s just before we have calculated delta L. Also, we know that delta L is equal to PL upon AE. P upon A is the stress sigma. For P upon A, we can write sigma. Using this formula, we can write delta LA and delta LS like this. For sigma A, we can apply for sigma s after the calculation we are getting this let us keep this as equation number one for sigma s we are getting this we can convert this value either in newton per millimeter square or mega newton per meter square we know that sigma a is equal to four sigma s let us multiply sigma s with the four when we do that, we are getting sigma A. Now let us find the stresses 
if the ends yield by 0 0.1 millimeter now we have new change in length delta l which is equal to delta ls plus delta la minus 0 0.1 we know that delta ls plus delta la is equal to 0 0.2808 finally for delta l we are getting this now let us take the first equation previously it was our change in length now we have a different change in length so in the equation instead of this we have to apply this finally we are getting sigma s when we multiply sigma s with 4 we are getting sigma a alternatively using the formulas we can calculate the stresses first let us find the stresses if the ends do not yield using this formula we can find sigma s and using this formula we can find sigma a now let us find the stresses if the ends yield by 0 0.1 millimeter using this formula we can find sigma s and using this formula we can find sigma a now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video